Hey guys, it's been a while. Uh, right now I'm into weighing out some uh, powder and I was doing it with a hand trickler and that was a pain in the neck. So in the meantime, I built a uh, small power uh, trickler for this using a cell phone vibrating motor. So I'll show you how this thing works here. I got two buttons, high and low for it. And there's the high. Okay, and then if you watch, you'll see it'll just drop a kernel at a time on that on low. So if you're interested on this, uh, after this uh, scene right here, I'll show you how I made it. So here we go. Okay, I printed up the body here. Uh, actually, this is the second one I did. I have another one over here. Uh, my design was off a little bit. Uh, so I had to do some modifications, but here's the new main body here. There is that tiny, tiny little motor in there. I mean, you can see that's the tip of an exacto right there, and it's uh, it's pretty dang small. Uh, it had a little rubber cushion around it, a little housing, and it cut down on the vibration. When I took that off, the motor was loose in the uh, slot here. So I used some uh, 40 thousandths thick uh, clear polyester uh, sheet I had and wrapped that around the motor. I did that by uh, cutting a thin strip and then putting a little heat on the center of that and bent it right over a drill bit the same diameter as the motor and then I, uh, I just pushed it down. It has plenty of uh, retention in there for that. Uh, inside here, uh, this is where I had to do a little redesigning uh, before I had the tube not coming all the way to the very end. And uh, that didn't work. So I made the tube go all the way in and then I cut an oval slot on that. And there's the there's a slot right there. Uh, now that goes all the way in. Uh, this is a fairly tight, snug fit. I have to uh, chuck it up and uh, actually work the tube in. So that's good. I don't have to fasten it in any way. Friction will hold that in. Uh, the other thing I do is this is just clear vinyl tubing that you get at the hardware store, or whatever, and. Uh, uh, it was a little tight going on here, so I just cut a piece of this, and someplace on here, I just cut a slit like that. Now this will go over top of this, like so. There we go. And that actually is a dampener, so if you're getting too aggressive of a feed, you can move this back and forth. Uh, if you need to, you can cut a little strip and have another one in between, and tuned so it's not like just bouncing out and uh, you know flaring all over the table so that works out pretty good so I'll put this uh, I'll put this back in and I'll uh, show it to you then okay I just installed the tube again and we get a light over here and now you can see inside there how that hole fits in there uh, so that's how that goes there. Actually on the first body, uh, a word of caution is actually the hole came at a slight angle up and I was having uh, a lot of problems with powder coming out until I discovered that. Then I had to shim up the base and I didn't like that so I made another one. I put this on the drill press in a vise and made sure I bored the hole perfectly uh, perfectly square here uh, when you 3d print you know you can make the hole and it'll put a uh, uh, fill in there so the the walls don't collapse uh, but it's not a perfect hole uh, so I just made sure when I jigged this up into the drill press I had that thing uh, right on the money so uh, that is that uh, then over here I just made a, uh, I made a power box for it. Let me uh, move the camera for you. And uh, inside, I'm not going to take this thing apart. Uh, I just have a battery pack inside 
two cells, uh, three volt uh, for this system. Uh, so when I hit this button here, that'll put the full three volts on it. When I hit this button, then I'm just working off of one cell and that's my fine tuning. Uh, this motor uh, out of the cell phone, uh, the battery for that was uh, 4.2 volts. So we're actually underpowering this thing. And that's okay, it still comes out, you know, plenty, plenty fast enough. So that's pretty much it for now. Now just a note on these motors. Uh, I took three phones apart. Actually, I had one that was so old it didn't even have a vibrating function in there. But this is, it's basically like a, a small motor and there's an offset weight on there that spins around. Uh, so you just gotta make sure that none of the edges get hit. Uh, you know, when it spins, it spins free. But I don't think this is a one design deal because I think they're all different, the motors and stuff. So they have to be, you know, customized for each one. The other one I took apart, this was the vibrator right here. It's like a little disc. This may work, I don't know, but I didn't work with this style of it. Now, how many different style motors there are, I can't tell you that, you know. So this housing wouldn't fit this style or if the motor is bigger, wider, longer. Uh, so, you know, uh, it'd be hard for me to uh, share a file with uh, for this stuff because I just don't know the size of the motors that you're dealing with. Uh, so, all right, I just wanted to point that out. Hey guys, well, I got this uh, trickler all together now and uh, I was just weighing out some powder. I figured this would be a good finishing video for it. So right now I'm, uh, I'm charging my uh, powder at uh, 8.5. So I set the press up a little short of that and, uh, and I'm just going through each of the uh, casings one by one. So, but here we go here. So I'll put this in. Or A2, and I got two speeds on this a high and a low. And you can see I can do pretty fine adjustments on this. And if I want to give it a bigger shot, I'll mm -hmm. just hit a high, get it close, and I'm going for 850. And if I'm within two one hundredths of a grain, that's Plenty close enough for me. That's close enough. Eh, a little high. But I can uh, take a little out. Put it back on the scale here. Okay. That's close enough. All right, so that's how it functions. I did drop this down to a three volt system and I have one button hooked up to three volts and I have one uh, button hooked up to a volt and a half. Uh, let's see, it's important to make sure that this is level because uh, I was having problems with that before and uh, I'll turn that off. And I just used a small bubble level here and put that across, made sure I was good on, on the level. Uh, I did make a, a little dust cap for this thing too. I can put that there. Still have to make up a base right now. I'm still working off a chunk of wood and a piece of lead on it. Uh, that's not real important, it's functional. I do have the little dampener on here. That's a piece of clear vinyl tubing. I think that's quarter inch, uh, which was a little tight, so I just put the slit in it. I cut it, I put a slit in it, now it slides back and forth and you can tune how this thing works. Uh, as far as the motors are concerned, uh, the little vibrating motors, I think they're all different. So each build's gonna be a little bit different how they go. Uh, so, but it works out, uh, works out pretty good. If I uh, just put this on here, 
and I'll just show you take the little cap off it vibrates when I do that turn that back on and let that zero out and there we go so you can see that's high and that'll dump a fair amount and then that's that's low right there and if I wanted to slow it down a, a touch more I could move this out a little bit I could make this a little bit longer and then you can you can tune this whole thing up so uh, that's about it guys uh, just wanted to show it to you give you some ideas so all right take care